Hi everybody, it's a good morning for snow making here in central Pennsylvania. I wanted to do a quick video um, for some, uh, some of our newer members in the group um, talking about the glove test. Uh, you might hear some of us talking about the glove test and you're not really sure what it is in relation to the nuke nozzle. So here's my snow gun. Now in my design, I do not have an, an adjustable mix here. This is a non-adjustment internal mix. So many of your designs, when you want to talk about passing the glove test, you have an adjustment where you can adjust the water flow. So if it was warmer, mine might not be passing the glove test just because of the nature of how it is. So the, with the glove test, what you want to do is you want to put your hand right in front of the nuke and you want to do it right before this nuke stream here intersects the bulk water. So you can see it's being drawn up in here about in this region. So if I put my hand very close to the nozzle right here, it's pretty wet. It's not going to pass the glove test that close to the nozzle. So I want to put it um, about six, at least six inches, if not more. If you have more spacing, you're going to put it right where it intersects the bulk water. So I'm going to put my glove right here in the stream. And you can see after a few seconds, I'm getting a nice accumulation of white crystals here on my glove. And that's really what you want to see. That lets you know that your nuke is dialed in and you're feeding ice crystals into that flume and that's effectively seeding the formation of larger ice crystals from your bulk water. So that's really what you want to see as far as passing the glove test. Now, if, you can't, if you're not passing the glove test, there could be a couple of reasons. The main reason you're not passing the glove test is it's too warm and you might not be able to do anything about that. The other thing you can do is if you're not passing the glove test, if you have an adjustment uh, via a needle valve or a ball valve, you can really throttle that water back. You might get a little bit of sputtering, but then you'll get closer to be able to pass the glove test and you will see your snow quality improve by a lot. So, hope that gives you an idea of, about the glove test and how to assess the performance of your nuke. And hope you can start making bigger piles like this. It's been a good night of production here in the mid to upper teens.